In this tutorial, we are going to briefly show the many steps involved in cutting a gem. The first step is to examine the gem rough for any inclusions. If there are inclusions near the center of the gem, often it is best to saw the piece into multiple smaller gems. If sawing is necessary, then lines are marked where the gem will be sawn. These lines are based on inclusions, cracks, the color, and shape of the gem rough, and other factors. The gem is then sawn along the lines that were marked. Respirator and protective glasses are used, as this is one of the most dangerous parts. Gotta watch out for the fingers. The gem is examined again to decide what shape the final gemstone will be. Then the gem is ground freehand into a rough representation of its final shape. This is called the preform and is an important step as the final shape of the gem is defined. After preforming, the gem is glued to a dop. The dop is a cylinder which is set into the fasting machine and holds the gem in place. The gem is cut one side at a time. Most modern fasteners cut the bottom of the gem or pavilion first as these angles are the most important for final beauty. Once the dop gem is placed in the fasting machine, the cutter uses the machine to set the angle, index, and height for each facet. My favorite machine is the Ultratech because of its precision and ease of use. Finally, the actual cutting process takes place. Gem cutting is a grinding process. Gem material is removed by diamond abrasive in the spinning cutting disc, which is called a lap. A water drip keeps things cool and removes gem dust from the lap as the facets are cut one by one. Each facet is cut carefully as the faster controls how far to cut and how each facet meets the facet next to it. When done properly, this results in a gem that is very brilliant and symmetrical. This requires careful checking, especially when you are near the final placement of each facet. After you complete the cutting process, you then proceed to the polishing stages. Polishing uses a finer grit of diamond or other material and also is a very fine grinding process which will remove a small amount of gem material. Each facet must be revisited with progressively finer grits from two to four or more times to achieve the final polish. Here you see an amethyst starting to get a polish on the table facet. After cutting and polishing the first side, the pavilion, the gem is then placed in a transfer jig and a dop is glued onto the other side. Once the glue has hardened, the first dop is removed. And the second side, called the crown of the gem, is cut and polished. Once the crown is finished, the gem is removed from the glue and cleaned in alcohol or acetone, and the final product is admired. It is like a beautiful butterfly emerging from its cocoon. This has been a short overview of how gems are faceted. The whole process, when well done by a professional, will usually take between 4 to 15 hours to complete. Thanks for watching. This is John Dyer of JohnDyerGems.com.